Good morning, everybody. Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, coming at you with the much requested Needlework Expo edition of Let's Go Shopping. This is going to be a long one, so I hope you have some stitching, I hope you have something to drink, and most importantly, I hope you have something to take notes, whether it's pencil and paper or your phone with the notes app whatever because i think you're going to want to take notes i want to do one separate public service announcement first on a totally different subject um and this is about the serendipity stitch along that fat quarter shop is hosting that is their make a wish charity stitch along their annual one it now is not going to start until march 15th they are still working on getting the fabric for the quilts um, for the quilt stitch along, I think they might have it. They have to get it cut. I forget exactly, but they aren't quite ready to start the quilting part of it. And so they want to start the stitching and the quilting at the same time. And so they're now putting it back just a little bit longer until March 15th. So that's when we will be starting the serendipity stitch along. All right, Needlework Expo. It, be, it happens March 5th and 6th. Now, this is a replacement for the Nashville market. Nashville market happens every March and it is an in-person market. Of course, it had to be canceled. So um, the owner of um, Noteworthy Needle, I think it is, Janice, has come up with the Virtual Needlework Expo. And I think this is a quite brilliant idea and I do hope it continues in some form. Maybe Nashville would happen in March and the Needlework Expo could happen in, you know, October, split the year. I think it's brilliant because it is going to allow people from all over the world to take part. It is going to be much cheaper for both the shops and the designers. They don't have to travel. They don't have to haul all of their things there and haul back. They don't have to stay in a hotel for a couple of days. So in that way, I think it is brilliant. It is also, so you can imagine coming from Australia, the shops coming from Australia, did they ever come? I don't know. The designers like Fox and Rabbit coming from Australia, they pay a pretty penny to get to the U.S., right? So that's a heap of savings right there. One of the things that is a, is a kind of a con is, of course, they don't get to see the samples, the models in person, and you know that makes a huge difference. Um compared to a photo. But what the Needlework Expo is going to be is an online, I guess basically constant Zoom chat going on with each of the designers. So the shops will log in and they will click on something and that will actually take them to a video chat with the designer so they can talk in person. So you still have that contact. And, um, they'll be able to see the models in person. It won't be a video or a, a photo, it will be a video. Um, I think the one con that I can still think of is that you lose the complete interaction between designers, between shop owners, the whole mingling of the community that happens at a face-to-face -face type of, of an event. But hopefully this is a an excellent substitute and we are seeing some new designers and there's a lot of shops. Now, what we are looking at is the newsletter sneak peek that Crazy Annie Stitching provides for the market every year. And this is a way for people to see all the different products coming out and pre-order from Crazy Annie. Crazy Annie is an online shop that has a Facebook page or a Facebook group. So her shop is actually through Facebook. There are a ton of needlework shops attending this 
and doing pre-orders. So I don't want you to think that Crazy Annie's is the only one you can pre-order from. In fact, I did a Google search on Needlework Expo 2021 pre-order and a ton of shops came up from all around the world. So I encourage you, if you see something you want, to get in touch with your local needlework shop or whatever shop you happen to have a connection with, the Attic, Acords and Threads, Stitcher's Paradise, Fiddlesticks out in Hawaii, The Stitching Post in Catonsville, Keepsakes in Cincinnati, Craft Gallery is also in Ohio, um, The Tinsmith's Wife here in Comfort, Texas. All of these are going to be um, Fire Poppy, Sassy Jacks. I mean, I could go on and on. All the major shops are attending. I do not know if they all are doing pre-orders hobby house needleworks they're doing pre-orders so i encourage you to contact a store and put in your order if you see something you want you know a store that you do have a connection with all right so with that i think that's all the little notes i wanted to start with <clears throat> excuse me this is going to be a long one so i might get a little froggy here <laughs> we are going to start with Moo the Merrier. Now, this is an effort, you can see, the Cross Stitch Designers Collective. I had mentioned this Facebook group before. It is a Facebook group, a private Facebook group for designers. And I believe it was um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy who came up with this idea. I don't know whether it says that specifically here, but they came up with the idea to create a um, patterns designs based on a theme. And their theme was a cow create a design with a cow in it. And so this was kind of a way for designers to come together and work on a similar theme, show their collectiveness. And they were given a palette, they came up with a palette of sulky thread and all of the designers were given, it was its 12 colors um, of that set to create their designs with. So all of these kind of coordinate, but they are all very different and really show each designer's unique style. Now what we are seeing here, and, and this is how this newsletter is set up by Crazy Annie's, is she lists the name and the price for each of the patterns. So you will know, if you wanna shop from Crazy Annie's, you will know up here at the top um, what the prices are, and then we get down to the pictures. And so I don't know how many designers actually created designs for this. Here is the floss, floss pack from Salky. And that will be available as a pack from your stores. <clears throat> and there is a needle minder. All right, first, Elegant Thread. This is their cow. And it, it really does amaze me all the different styles of cows. <laughs> it's just really kind of wild. This one is from Monte Di Donna. Bloom Moo. Rami's Creation. I'm in the mood for cross stitch. I love that with a little thread coming down. So cute. Kind of formed in the shape of a little house. This one is Annie B's. I'm not going to be spending time showing you the different prices for these. If you, again, if you find something that you're interested, I encourage you to get in touch with your local store. The Tiny Modernist. Fox and Rabbit. Isn't that cute? The cow getting ready to jump over the moon. The cow that missed the moon. Pennsylvania Dutch series, The Heifer from Teresa Kogut. So this tells me that there's more in this series and she started with The Heifer. Very Teresa Kogut style. Love you till the cows come home from Needle Bling. Pickle Barrel Designs made the kissing booth. Thistle the Highland Coo. Oh, yes, the Highland Coo. So this is um this is from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. Doing a Scottish cow. Love it. Love it, love it. 
Hey Diddle and Slick Fiddle by Ink Circles. Again, like I was saying, totally in line with their style. So I love, and you see the um, kind of tone on tone design within the moon and kind of a Quaker feel to it. I think that's awesome. They did a great job with that. Bessie Grable from Meridian Designs. Meridian is a new designer. Utterly Moveless. Flora Bloom by Lou Who Stitches. Isn't she cute? Very sweet. I'm not sure of the name yet by Blue Flower Stitching. Isn't that gorgeous? I tell you what, Blue Flower Stitching, wait till you see their designs. She has hit it out of the park this time. All right, so that is all the cow series that we have so far. And this has been updated. Let's see, today is the first. This was updated as of yesterday, the 28th. Like I said, the show doesn't start until the 5th, so I expect there will still be even more designs, people with last minute rushing to get some things in. There are some um, fabric suppliers that have some new fabric out, and that will be that will be in the list as well. Okay, so we are starting with Annie B's, and like I said, I am not going to sh spend time just pausing for the most part on the prices or whatever it says up here. I'll just scroll down to the designs themselves. American Sampler House, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Something about that alphabet on the side of the house just gets me. The color's perfect. The fabric is perfect. Love that. Stars and Stripes Forever. Another great um, patriotic one for fellow Americans. Biddy Barnes, Spring and Summer. So we have a new series started here with a barn theme. A little lamb in that one, a little cow in this one. Very cute. Time to bloom. It's your time to bloom with a sheep. I might need to get that one just to continue with my sheep theme. So that's all Annie B's new ones. RETM. We have the Charlie chart. So this is based on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You see it says Wonka there. Let it snow. I love this one. Quaker with this reindeer with a little red star up there. I think that's beautiful. I wish the pictures were better for these ones. Quaker Turtle. This is another gorgeous one. Very well done. And grumpy old men celebrate. Happy fourth. So little gnomes. Isn't that cute? All right, Michelle, Bendy Stitches. Let's see what she has this year. She's really branching out. So this is called Deer Deer Sampler. Isn't that great? Love that. Spring Witches, come on. Spring Witches. That looks like um, Rocky Horror Picture Show is what that reminds me of with the Venus flytrap plant. Am I dating myself? Most likely. Berry Bird. That's very cute. Very nicely done. All right, that's all of Michelle's. Black... Berry Lane Designs, and I, I don't we don't didn't notice of the other ones, but she does say all needlework new releases are shown, so that means she everything's been updated. Um, I'll try and point that out too. Blackberry Lane Designs. Now these are very interesting. Gingerbread Valley Part One. So again, a series. And this is front and back of a house. Look at this little elf peering over the roof. And so on the back, you have the rest of his body. Isn't that brilliant? 
the tree buttons, the little gingerbread button on the back, the gifts. This is, I mean, th these are just gorgeous little designs. And so these are ornaments. Part two, we have the tree. We have some one over one stitching with the deer here. These ones, Santa and Mrs. Claus peering out of the windows. How brilliant is that? I think these are awesome. Now do we have, we don't have the back of um, part two. When cardinals appear, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. And then I think this one has been out for a little while. I've seen this one before, Winter Snow Owl. He's gorgeous. The inner part of his face is all over one stitching. The beak and eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. Baby, it's cold outside. Still part of the Winter Bird series. These are all just beautiful. The snowflakes are over one in this. All right, so that's all of that. Now, blue flower stitching, let me tell you. Gorgeous. All Needlework Expo new releases are shown. The Gentle Rain. How sweet the music of the rain. So, so cute. All the little animals, raccoon, heron. There's a raccoon in the tree, too. Little bird's nest with little eggs in it. Beautiful, beautiful stitching. This one I adore. I will be getting this one. This is called Wildflowers. Buttercups have honey. Buttercups have honeyed hearts. Bees, they love the clover. But I love the daisies dance all the meadow over. And so you have the daisies down here with bees, the bee scap, and these gorgeous vines up the sides. I think that is gorgeous. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clover. Oh, just beautiful. So, yeah, that one is going to be mine. This one, too. Language of Flowers, Spring Chart. The sun shines when I'm with you. The daffodils. Oh, beautiful. I will be getting that one. I'm getting all of these. I think she just did an awesome job. Tudor B. Now this has the series of uh, the, the feel of another series, Tudor B and Tudor Swan. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? She has a great eye for color and putting designs together, putting the elements together. And Tudor Swan. With the crown and the crown on the swans. I hope you can see these okay, and I hope I'm I'm going slow enough that you can see it well enough. Beautifully done. All right, that's I'm getting pretty much all of those. <laughs> Carriage house. Now, this one does not say that you know she has all of the releases posted in here yet. And I did see um I think it was Carriage House. I did see on Instagram that um, she has a couple of punch needle. I think it's her under her carriage house name and not her Kathy Barrick name. I could be wrong. Um, oh, and I did want to say, um, let me scroll up here so you can be looking at the chart. Horse feed sack. So this is her cross stitch release, a continuation of her sack series. I did want to say the other reason I am using Crazy Annie's to show you instead of Instagram. I know I mentioned Instagram in my video is because Crazy Annie's has them all listed alphabetically, all the designers releases together. On Instagram, it's just kind of willy nilly. A designer finishes something and they put a pit do a post. Another designer does something and they do a post. Needle Expo re, re or shares that and that creates another post. So it's repetitious and it's not all co cohesive like we're seeing here. So this is Carriage House. I love her feed sack. I think it's a brilliant idea. Have any of you done those? I don't know what I'd do with them, but I think they're great. Elegant Thread, all new releases are shown. She has a lot. 
Royal Bluebird Market Exclusive Chart. So this means that this is only exclu exclusive to the shops attending the market. And I think this is gorgeous. A sweet little chart, just a few bits of alphabet. The finish, it says, finishing pack also available from Lady Dot. Creates gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I love that. Paris. Paris Button Limited Edition Kit. That's very pretty. Lobster Dinah Ornament. So you too can have a lobster. That looks like it's done on fairly big count fabric, but possibly over one on that big count fabric. This is so pretty. Le Hard... Le Jardin de Papillon, I don't know, Butterfly Garden. We'll stick with the English. Isn't that pretty? These are, this looks like satin stitches down here. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. Can you hear that wind out there? We have another cold front coming in and the wind has been blowing like crazy. Gusts up to 20 miles an hour all night long and into today. Butterflies in the grass, Biscornu. That's beautiful. I've never done a Biscornu. Maybe next year when I can start some things, I'll try. Rachel Sampson, 1803 Lady Sewing Pocket. Very pretty. I would probably frame it instead of putting it in a pocket. Dutch Quaker Hussef. Hussef. Look how pretty that is. I don't know what color thread she used, but it's gorgeous. Very pretty. Cross stitch project journal. So the elegant thread is getting into the project journal game. So the journal and then the pages that you can and refill pages that you can buy. So if you're into that, that might be something to check out. All right, so that's all of Elegant Threads. Erica Michaels. Oh, she has some pretty ones, too. All new releases are shown. All right. For the Irish among us, may your trouble be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. Gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Do unto others. Make me, dear Lord, polite and kind to everyone, I pray. And may I ask you how you find yourself, dear Lord, today. Do unto others as ye would they do, should do unto you. Very cute. I don't like that cat. That kind of freaks me out. <laughs> Not sure why. This is gorgeous. Lions, tigers, and trims. Oh, my. So this is a, um, I guess it's another Husif, Yusuf, housewife, however you say those. Needle roll. Not really just a needle roll, though. Beautiful, beautiful elements, lions and tigers and bears. And then the inside of it. So there's the little rings for your floss, little um, pin, pin keep pillow, and little place for your scissors. Isn't that gorgeous? And I assume this comes as a kit. And here it is in a different colorway. Optional pattern with alphabet. So basic, same thing, but without the lions and tigers and bears. And in a different colorway. This, I think, is brilliant. Bristol Berries 1. So that tells us, again, another um, series. So taking the elements of a Bristol sampler and putting them on berries, isn't that brilliant? I love that. That squirrel is just amazing. I have never done a berry either, so I think I need to make maybe 2022 my year of berries and biscornus. How do you like that? <laughs> love it. I love these berries. I think they're gorgeous. Can't see all of them, of course, but I think it's just gorgeous. And then more, another berry. 
and a little pillow, excuse me. Don't mean to yawn on you. Isn't that pretty? Tiptoe through the tulips. Shall we start singing? Tiny Tim. All right, that's all of Erica Michaels. Fairy in the wool Wood. I think that's supposed to be fairy or fairy wool in the wood. So they, they have um, a couple ornaments and then the fabric. And it says all of these are stitched on the witch tea fabric. So it's tea dyed. This is adorable for those of you that do the elf on the shelf with your kids. You're my honey, the little bears with the honey. Welcome, do not disturb. So this is double sided. Please knock or do not disturb, I'm stitching. Mine would always be showing that one. In fact, I would probably only stitch that one. <laughs> oh, I'm bad, I know. Vintage Christmas stockings. So this is kind of cool. It's showing all the windows and somebody at the door bringing gifts. Very, very Dis Dickensonian, Dickensian. Is that how you would say it? The snow on the rooftop and Santa at the top. I think that's really pretty. And then this is her witch tea linen. So you'll have to see if your shops are carrying that if you're interested. All right, Faith Works doesn't say that everything is here yet. So. Hugs and Kisses short stacks. This is a freebie chart. Watch their Facebook page or Instagram, hoping they will post the chart for you to print off. Easter shadow box. So another person taking advantage of the different spaces in a shadow box to create different designs. So that's very cool. Petite ABC Biscornu. Book one is A through E. And if I remember correctly what I read on Instagram, so each one of the Biscornus has different specialty stitches. And the specialty stitch, the name of the specialty stitch starts with the letter that is on the Biscornu. I think that's what I read. That plate is really pretty, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Sneak peek, so there's another chart that they don't have. A chart coming in the short stack series. Teeny tiny spring. Little bird houses and little wagon. Mini lantern books, encouraging words. That's kind of fun, huh? These little lanterns and with the, you have put the insert. Be joyful and hope and be kind. Mini Lantern Book 8, so I must have missed earlier ones. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Luck of the Irish Short Stack, so there's another one. Little, like, flat fold finish. Fiber on a Whim, so they have new fabrics coming out. Cypress, Afogado, Persimmon, and Cream and Sugar. And just a little... Hmm, sneak, sneak say, not a sneak peek. Fat Quarter Shop will be carrying fiber on a whim fabric in the not too distant future. Fox and Rabbit, so this is the one from Australia. Makes it much easier for them to not have to travel. Elizabeth Cooper, 1866. Gorgeous, gorgeous motifs in this. Tis religion that can give sweet, sweetest pleasures while we live. Tis re religion must supply solid comfort when we die. So beautiful sampler, Elizabeth Cooper. Clint, I think that says, February 1866. Look how gorgeous. They have started to create fabrics. They have the ones that are already out. Um, I've seen them at Hobby House Needleworks. Um, I think they're starting to appear at one, two, three stitch. They're more neutral colors. 
So their new ones are much more um, colorful and beautiful, beautiful colors. That beetroot is gorgeous. And they're all named things that are more um, down under themed for the most part. Ballet slippers isn't necessarily down under theme, but you know what I mean. When it makes sense, it is. Like this one, Warata. Warata. I don't know what that is. Dragon fruit. But those are those are gorgeous colors. All right. From the Heart by Wendy. Wendy. All new releases are shown. So these ones, I don't know whether I've seen hers before. They kind of remind me of Lizzie Kate spring little kind of a band sampler spring theme that's very sweet mini celebrations so i have a feeling we're going to see a series of these or are seeing seeing a series happy birthday welcome spring i think this one's really pretty bring your flowers and make us smile that's really sweet Freedom Quaker, let freedom ring. Very nice. This is gorgeous. Joe Bienna 1841 sampler chart. I love the colors on this one. I kind of like that there's this like lantern up here between the stars. I don't know why that's different. I like that. I think that's very pretty. Just a simpler one. Catherine Jesse White, 1891. This looks like this is a little person with a dog or cat trying to get in their lap sitting under the tree. And I believe that's all over one stitching. It's hard to tell it. From this picture, it kind of all looks over one. But I think that's just an effect of the picture. All right, so that's all of hers. Then we have Julia Punti Antici. This has all of her releases. Mary Freer, 1808 sampler chart. Lots going on in this one. Cain, tilling the ground. Abel, keeping sheep. So some full coverage work there. Some blue angels. <laughs> Prepare me, Lord, for thy right hand, then come the joyful day. Band, come death and some celestial, maybe that's come death and some ce celestial band to bear my soul away. Then my beloved, take my soul up to thy blessed abode, that face to face I may behold my Savior and my God. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Lots and lots going on in this one. Very cool. For those that like samplers. Mary Frances' sewing purse. So uh, design here with little additional things to make to put in it. Little wax fob. I assume you can probably get this as a kit with the trims, but I am not sure. It doesn't say that specifically. It might say it in the information up above. Georgia's scissor keys and pin keep chart. That's pretty. Teapot ruler. I think this one's funny. Teapot ruler. Case holder chart. Okay. <laughs> not sure I need a teapot to hold cross-stitch case to hold my ruler, but okay. That's the back of it there. Chocolate Girl Pin Cushion, pin cushion Doll. That's really sweet. Beautiful design. More photos so you can see the different angles. And I assume, again, this all comes as a kit. And then another one, Winter, a Capo de Monte pincushion doll. Again, very pretty design. And then all the different. And again, you, I assume you get the, the doll and all the trims and the pins to go with it. 
Valentine Rose's heart. This is a two-sided ornament. So that's side one and side two. Very pretty. Ann Hall 1836 sampler. So another sampler with lots going on. I can't really read the writing in the picture. Get this kind of the sun here, and I don't know whether that's a whale, maybe. Aged 11 years, 1836. Ann Spence, 1801 sampler. May virtue guide my unexperienced youth and lead my footsteps in the paths of truth. Tiny little squirrels, probably over one. Great big bird. <laughs> it's funny. Boy, lots of samplers from her this time. Isabella Sinclair, 1827. Look at those letters. Wow. Hmm, nice. I think this is a Scottish sampler. Maria Futter Appleton, 1831. Again, tons of samplers by her. Needle teacup. It's a little needle keep. All right, so that's all from her. Then we move on to Glendon Place. All of their releases are shown. Fall for Autumn, Fall for the Beauty of Autumn. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That's my type of fall design rather than Halloween. Because someone we love is in heaven, there's a little bit of heaven in our home. I believe they came out with this last year. At some point, that seems familiar to me. Hands-on design. Oh, I tell you what, she's killing me. Her, so this, the French Kitchen series between, that's a collaboration between Summer House and Hands-on um, Summer House Stitch Works and Hands-On Design. That got kind of flubbed up there. Gorgeous, gorgeous charts. First one they're showing, though, is Let's Talk Spring. This is her Chalk Talk one. I love this whole series. I haven't done any. I don't own any, but they are so well done. Just beautiful charts. And I love the finish with the little patchwork. Half of the, the pillow. Just gorgeous. So these are three different designs that you get within, within the chart. So that's Needle Nanny to go with that, Needle Minder. So she has a couple block parties, new block parties. This is a Halloween one, so 31st block party. A couple pictures of that. And then the pins to go with. And the 25th block party with the reindeer around it. A couple pictures of that and the pins to go with that. I need to make one of those too. Okay, now we get to the French kitchen one. And these are, you know, I haven't really paid much attention to the ones that have released up until now. And I think this is one of them. But Gorgeous, gorgeous designs. I could definitely see doing this set. So this is Apple and Sage. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Using up all my oxygen. Gorgeous. I love these pictures up on the top here. And these stacks of bowls with the, the pretty pottery bowls. This is so gorgeous. And then this one is strawberries and mint. Love that. Mm. And then this is the fifth chart in the series to just kind of tie them all together. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a shelf with all of your little things on it. I think 
think that is gorgeous. So yeah, I will be getting those at some point. Now there are these charms. You see these charms here that they have like hanging on the tassel? It says very limited quantity. So if you get some, congratulations. Heartstring samplery. Oh, wait till you see some of hers. Oh, all right. This is springtime pin drum. Super cute tulips in a drum. And the top, she has a design for the top. Don't know what this says, blossom something. Beautiful. Alternative designs by the looks of it. All will be well. Now I do have to question her stitching, all will be well in black. That wouldn't have been my choice, but it is a cute design. Whoops, just. Now this one, this one I have to get. This is called My Necessity. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the sole in my shoe. My necessity, I'd be lost without you. I like the little coffee pots in here. Yeah, I need to get this. Me and Mike, I'd be lost without him. Gorgeous. And of course, she did it in this beautiful coffee-colored coffee colored floss. So I'm sure she's doing this tongue-in-cheek, you know, about coffee because she has other coffee ones. But um, yeah, it can mean more than that. This one is Grounding Force. Cross stitch is my grounding force. Again, another awesome little design. And how stunning that it's stitched on the black. Just so well done. Gorgeous frame too. Grounding force. All right, Liz Matthews. Oh my goodness. Now it says be sure to check for her chart in the Moo the Merrier designer collaboration. I don't think I remember seeing that up there by her. Do you guys? I don't remember. All right, so she starts with, let me go back here and see something. Okay, this one, the engraver's chart. So this is alphabets and numbers. I look at this and think, huh, okay. <laughs> whatever. It's not something I would do. It's kind of interesting, but um, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think of that if you're interested in it. It doesn't do a whole lot for me. The rest of hers, though, Dutch Sampler Collection Chart. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All the little motifs and like so many different smalls that she created based on the motifs. I mean, just beautiful. Gorgeous. And I think this is one of these that when you're stitching it, you would find more little bits and pieces to it, right? And again, I'm sure the picture does not do it justice because it's hard to see all the little bits and pick pieces. This one is stunning. Butterfly cloche. What a fantastic idea. Look at that. So butterfly cloche, Liz Matthews. This will be mine at some point in the future. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Well done. <clears throat> Gather here with grateful hearts. Simple, but elegant. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's all of hers. Ink circles. I remember ink circles, Moo the Marial, Marrier. Okay, so they have a new series called Rabbit Rabbit, and I think it is perfect that I'm showing this to you on the first of the month because Rabbit Rabbit is, and I don't know, it's a thing. I don't know where it started. I don't even know the meaning behind it. This is something that on the first of the month, you're supposed to say Rabbit Rabbit to a person um, and I don't know if the person, if you're the first person that says that I forget what happens, 
this this happened all the time where I used to work in the office I used to work in. Um, and it was just a funny thing that, you know, on the first of the month, you had to be the first person to say rabbit rabbit to other people. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, Ink Circles has a new series, Rabbit Rabbit. So January, February, March. And these are adorable. So we have rabbits with snowflakes. We have rabbits with hearts. And we have rabbits with tulips and other flowers, cone flowers by the looks of it. So cute. And then April, May, June, we have rabbits with more tulips, rabbits with more flowers. And I don't know what the black rabbits are supposed to be. They have flowers on them, <laughs> but just, I mean, these are really, really pretty charts. And you know, that, that kind of ink circle mandala look to them, just gorgeous. Blue velvet. Another super pretty ink circles. They have red velvet, I think, right? And didn't you do red velvet? Pretty fabric that they chose to do it on. Jeanette Douglas. Oh, Jeanette hit it out of the ballpark. All her releases, rela releases are shown. So she has a new series starting called Home Together, inspired by being home so much this past year. So the first one is home is where your heart is. So sweet. And then home is the place to be. I love those. Just a few little specialty stitches. I don't see any specialty stitches on the first one. So that's her new series. And then number six in her Blooming Bouquets. This one is Hopeful. These are just so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous designs. And then this one, the Flower Tray Set. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Again, specialty stitches because that's Jeanette's specialty. And this tray is gorgeous. So it has a drum. Look at that satin stitch flower on there. Oh, beautiful. I've never made a drum either. So 2022, berries, biscornus, and drums. Oh my, what do you think? Little scissor fob. And then this is so pretty. Let's do what we love and do it a lot. So she said on Instagram that this came out of, um, out of being in lockdown in Canada. Let's do what we love and do it a lot. And for us, that is stitching, right? See the needle up here? Little tomato pin keep, little spools. That's gorgeous. I will, I will be getting that at some point. All right, Kathy Barrick. Again, hit it out of the ballpark. Pieces of old. I love this. Now, you guys know I do not like people in my charts. She does not bother me too badly. I love her dress. Little dog in her lap. I love those trees. Stags. And then what I really love are these houses in a basket. Those trees. All the butterflies. This is just a stunning piece. Yes, I will be getting this at some point. Just gorgeous. This reminds me of Rainbow Row in um, Atlanta. Is that where Rainbow Row is or is it Savannah? <laughs> I get these southern towns mixed up. Gorgeous. That one I will own at some point. A Quaker Dwelling. This one too. A Quaker Dwelling. Remember that. Look at that. Not just the Quaker motifs, but that house with the brick in the different colors, the different colors of brick, and then that roof. Isn't that gorgeous? Hit it out of the ballpark. I will own that at some point. This one, Amelia Prescott. I wish it didn't have a multiplication chart in the middle. <laughs> this I have done to let you see how my parents did educate me. Amelia Prescott in the year 1824. I say I wish it didn't have a multiplication chart because numbers are not my strong suit. I love that sun. The houses, the birds flying overhead, these two pots with these gorgeous viney flowers. 
love it. The stags. Yeah, I may have to get that regardless, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She has these Colonial Girls and their Dolls Needlework labels. So she has the labels for your work to put the details of your work on the back of your projects. But she also has, and this is very clever and I've never seen this before, bequeathment needlework labels. So I bequeath thee too. And she says, weep not for me, for you, for you with love everlasting. Gone but not forgotten for you with my love. So you can put these on the back if there's somebody special that you know you want to pass a piece of your needlework to. I think that's brilliant. All right, so that's all of Kathy Barracks. On to Keslin's. So we must not have any information for Keslin's yet. We do have the charts, but we don't have the information. This, I think, is so fun. And she does call it cross-stitch fun. So, so many things hiding in here. So many cute motifs. I love this little quirky heart. Little dog begging. Some, the motifs themselves are just gorgeous. A fleur-de-lis, a pear, the little cat on a tree. We have a stork here. This cat, look at this cat. Don't you just want to pinch, pinch his cheeks? We have the um, treble clef, a dragonfly. I mean, there's just so much, a little bicycle. Again, as you're stitching it, you're going to discover things more and more. I love that one. English ivy chart. I think this is beautiful. The colors are perfection. You know, it doesn't really say or do anything, but it's just a beautifully wrought, swirly design. I love it. Then she has a simple poinsettia ornament. And then we come to this, Focus Year 2020. So it's very similar to this one, right? The English ivy, same colors, same swirls. A year that taught us to love, forgive, pray, and to focus on goals and not obstacles. I love that. Focus Year. I may have to get that. A Haunting We Will Go is her last one. Oh, look, there's that little cat from her, <laughs> from her, uh, her cross-stitch fun chart. That's awesome. All right, that's all of hers. Kirkland Design Studio. So Kirkland has notepads and needle minders. There's a ton of them. I am not going to stop slowly and go through them all. They are the ones that did the Move the Merrier needle, needle minder, but they do have... A bunch. So I would say, let me go back to Sassanac. Tis a bonny wee bit of stitching Sassanac. <laughs> um, so um, if you want to check those out, I would assume they have a um, either an Etsy shop or a website or something like that. So tons of needle minders. La Dee Da. So we have all of La Dee Da's releases here. We start with Francis, 1863. Rabbits seem to be a theme. So we have a sampler rabbit. Elizabeth Charnelay W. Lord, may I walk with thee in white and in thy precepts take delight, love thee with a perfect heart, and never from thy ways depart. Rejoice evermore, the something. Can't read it all. That's a pretty one. Little Virginie, 1837. Very nice. Sophie Church, that's pretty, isn't it? The little vases, very nice. And then the Kindred Spirits drum. Kindred, kindred Spirits of the Thread chart is what that is called. It's a very much more primitive look. Lady Dot, 
don't know if we have everything. So she is starting to dye Osnaberg fabric. And if you recall, Osnaberg is what I got um, in the um, Fiber on a Whim texture packs that I was getting for a while. And these are meant to be finishing items. So it has a rougher texture. It's not meant for stitching. She has a bunch of twill tape in these colors as well. So I think that'd be kind of fun to try. She has sampler packs. So the twill tape and the Osnaberg. I'm gonna take a drink here while I'm strolling, scrolling down through these colors. As my throat is getting sore, there's all kinds of different colors of finishing Osnaberg, very pretty. And then she has some packs too. Silly Wabbit, spring sampler pack, fall sampler pack. So those would be kind of cool to, I think, to have around for finishing. Lily Violetta it says, releases are shown. They don't know the prices yet, so a joyful Easter. So she is one of the French designers. My Beloved Garden, that's a sweet one. Look how cute that is. Goodness, that's pretty. I love the way the honey is dripping down on that. That is really cute. Easter Day. I know she has several of these wagons. These bunnies just crack me up with their long legs. Very cute. All right, Lindy Stitches, all new releases shown. Eat Cake. So limited edition, it's Crazy Annie's only is getting 10 of these. Let us rejoice and eat cake. Keeping with the rabbit theme, theme Jackalopian Tapestry. How <laughs> funny is that? Very cute. Edna Goes to Brunch. I think this is hilarious. I used to work with a lady named Edna. I just think that's so cute. Love it. Lucy Beam. She doesn't say that this is all of her releases shown, so she may have more out there. She wanted some honey, so she got the bees. That's the way to do it. Call for the doctor. This is hilarious. I haven't thought of this little poem, well, since I was a kid, probably. Call for the doctor. Call for the nurse. Call for the lady with the alligator purse. And then Halloween under the sea. So in a jar. It's funny. For you Halloween lovers out there. Ghosts and pumpkins drum roll. It's a big old pumpkin. All right, Lou Who Stitches. All of her releases are here. Summer Cottage, so kind of like a hobbit hole in a toadstool, and with tulips. Very cute. Singing in the Rain, look how cute that is. Very sweet. And Pumpkin Pumpkin, that's cute. Very nice. All right, Misty, Luminous Fiber Arts. No show discounts we are offering will apply to Luminous Fiber Art Designs per the request. Hmm. Um, Misty is another one who has hit it out of the park this time. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so she had gathering berries before and this is the one that she, um, offered as a fundraiser, I believe, for her nephew that was undergoing chemotherapy treatment. Um, I got that one. I haven't stitched it yet, but she's doing a series now for this, Gathering Clover. 
Look at that. I love these. The finishing is gorgeous with this um, ribbon around it. And I believe there's something about this being um, sold. This is a Lady Dots ribbon. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces, Misty. This is adorable. Spring Scamper. Oh my God, Misty, just gorgeous. I just, it's just, it's so cute. All the elements are just like perfection. Just love this. And you know, I don't do cutesy, but there's just something about this. The little bird radish airplane with this, with the banner and the little rabbits on the I mean god colors are beautiful oh. and then this friendship series BFF bunnies the second chart in her friendship series isn't that cute god adorable misty beautifully done good luck with the show all right mtv designs a designer from italy all of her things are shown. Ancient pot pincushion. Lone Elm Lane's box. Very sweet. Pomegranate sewing set. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. And then the inside, I guess that's the back of it. The pomegranates. And then the inside you have the thread keep and a little place for your ruler. <laughs> Rulers are a thing. Very cute. Once upon a time sewing box set. Isn't that pretty? All right, Mani Di Donna, of course, also from Italy. All of her releases are shown. 12 Days of Christmas series. Mani Di Donna. I love this. There's something about the 12 Days of Christmas series. I seem, I seem to love all of them that I see. I love the, the primitive look of this compared to some other ones that I have. <clears throat> she has little charms for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how readily available the charms are. Very pretty. And then this is showing it, um, I think, stitched all together. Much brighter lighting there, too. Very pretty. Another picture of the second day. The Simple Life. I love that one, too. I seem to have a theme of charts that talk about the simple life, so... I may need to get that one. And of course, sheep. So pretty. And this is gorgeous. Not so much, you know, the sewing box. It, the sewing box certainly brings it all together, but the designs, look at that. I love that. The buildings say Faith, Wisdom, Welcome, and Liberty House. I love that the O in the Welcome is replaced by a pineapple. This, this this pin cushion with the apples and the flowers, all of this is just gorgeous. The colors are, you know, it's not like they're bright and cheerful, but they're so elegant. I love it. And then the little pin cushion down here with the pineapple, just so well done. I guess there's a whole accessory set with the pins and the fob. It's beautiful. She has a couple Halloween pin cushions. So Halloween design chart is the name of that. And then the Liberty Lane pillow. I think this is beautiful too. Liberty, hope, faith, bless our land. That's gorgeous. And I think those might be some little sheep down there too. Nantucket lights, so the um, lighthouses. Very nice. Black Fantasy Octagonal Box. Now, unfortunately, they didn't do an update of this. I have seen pictures of this completed. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. 
So that is Monty Di Donna. Meridian is a um, is a new designer. All of her releases are shown. So she has a series of cupcakes here. This is BB Baguette's Bakery, BB Baguette's Bakery Sunday Cupcake. Mint chocolate chip. Nom, nom, nom. And those are beads on the top. <clears throat> then we have Phineas Fox's Winter Fun. <laughs> Look how cute. Winter Romance Chart. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal. Very nice. Kristen, the Arctic Ocean Mermaid. That's pretty. For all you mermaid lovers out there, that's cool. Carol of the Bells. <laughs> I think that's a bikini. How funny. <clears throat> Monticello Stitches, new designer. Oh, I think this is the one that really hit it out of the park with uh, samplers. Look at that. I would be friend of all, the foe, the friendless. I would be giving and forget the gift. I would be humble for I know my weakness. I would look up and laugh and love and lift. That's awesome. Key to happiness. Never put the keys to your happiness in someone else's pocket. There's some words of wisdom. That should be on the back of one of my angel cards. It very well may be. The King of Creation. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. Look at the animals down here. Aren't those awesome? And look, more bunnies. Very nice. A gentle needle, a gentle needle soothes the, restless, soothes the restless heart. Very nice. Ocean doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. So a little nautical themed sampler. Boy, that wind is just howling out there. <laughs> and those are acorns and leaves falling on, if you can hear the little chattering sounds falling on the roof of the RV. Nebby Needle. All releases are shown. God shed his grace, America. That's pretty. Just simple. It's really pretty. Into the garden. Oh, these ones. Oh, my goodness. Into the garden I must go to quiet my mind and free my soul. Now, granted, I don't have a garden here, of course, in an RV. I will be getting some flower pots to put around our little patio out there once it warms up. But the garden I had at our house in Maryland was spectacular. And I was always happy working in my garden. I love that. Into the garden. And then a stitcher's wallet. My needle and floss, they comfort me. For I am a stitcher. So that's the back. That's the front. That's the back. And that's when it's opened. It says back when closed. I think it means back when opened. <laughs> and then that's the inside all the stuff. Very nice. <clears throat> Hope blooms. Isn't that pretty? And then this one. This coordinates with the other one. I live in the garden. I just sleep in the house. The colors are so pretty. I really like that. 
So that's the Nebby Needle. Needle Bling, all charts shown, all new releases shown. Stitching is my happy hour. Well, as long as I have a mojito to go with my stitching, I'm good. <laughs> well, that was a Tocusta 22. It's always happy hour when I'm stitching. So you have the goblet here with the tomato and a goblet here with the strawberry. Isn't that cute? Very nice. Easter on the farm. Very cute. Peter's garden. More rabbits. You can tell it's spring, huh? Mrs. Claus, Cookies, Pies, and Candy Bake Shop. Very cute. And then let's see, sneak peek photo of the other four designs coming over the next four months in the North Pole Shops series. So that's that. Frosty Snowflake, Diner, North Pole, Coffee Shop, Santa's B&B, and Rudolph Feet Company. So... If you want to get that series, that's what's coming in those in the next four months. Now, Needle Bling is also doing fabric, and I don't know whether they've done that before. Butter Crunch, Shrekkie's Tan, those are both wonderful neutrals. All right, Needles Notion, all releases shown. Oh, Flossie's Garden, look at that. Now this wasn't in, last time I looked through this, this wasn't in here. Isn't she cute? If you like doing stand-up dolls. She's got a little scissor keep, a little skein of thread, a strawberry, of course, seed pack. Isn't that cute? Let's see the side view. On the back, who wants to make that for me? Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I don't know where I'd put it. Very cute. Oh, that's a needle book. The sampler Santa chart. Isn't he cute? Holding a little tree, he's got little stars on his paws. Sampler body. Very nice. Oh, and Mrs. Santa Sampler. Those are really cute. Look at the little kitty in the basket down here. Those are really cute. Nice, nice, nice. Something different. All right, Nikki's Creations. All of hers are shown. She has some cute ones this time. Butterfly Limited Edition Kit. So it probably comes with the pins, the button. Maybe the finishing fabric. Button Girl chart. I love how they she's holding the uh, string of buttons. Embroidery Garden. I love this. Again, little boxes, right? I don't know. I think that's so pretty. All the different pieces look like a little kitty on the scissors. It's really nice. Rose sampler chart. This is really pretty too, kind of in a cloche too, a little jar. That's so pretty. Bookmark samplers. Those are pretty. If you want some bookmarks that are a little bit more samplerish, it's a cool idea. Valentine girl. Pretty. And then she has some fabrics too. Antique Rose. That's a pretty color, isn't it? Very soft. Ginghams. Old England. All right. October House Fiber Arts. This is another one that hit it out of the park. Be a Cheerful Giver. And love and joy. How pretty is that? Love that. 
And then there's this one. Floss Tube Friends. You know I'm getting this one. Look at that. Holding a Quaker. Holding something with sheep by the looks of it. A hoop. She has all kinds of little pouches. The dresses are gorgeous. I mean, isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's like a must-have for all of us, right? So that is called Floss Tube Friends by October House Fiber Arts. And she is so blessed. Look how pretty. Petal Pusher. Cloverdale Cottage. Very sweet. Love the clover. You know, you see the clovers, the four-leaf clovers. You don't usually see the clover flowers. It's very cute. I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers. I don't remember the rest of it, but I know it ends with, if I only had a brain. If I only had a brain. That's pretty. I like that. Pickle Barrel Designs. Happy, oh, Hoppy Easter. Bright, pretty colors on black fabric for the win. Crafty Girls. I am a crafty girl. I make things, lots of things. I'll keep making things until my fingers fall off. Then I will grab my hot glue gun, reattach those suckers, and make more things. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I hadn't actually read through all that before. That's funny. <laughs> Very cute. Pocket pattern for January. Very cute. So she's got a series going. Pocket pattern for February. Just cute little stitches. Easy finishing. Praiseworthy stitches. Let's see what we have here. Blue Frost Ornament Kit. Limited edition. That's very pretty. Oh, Rose Button Necklace. Rose whatever necklace. I'm not going to try the French. Very cute. Another limited edition kit. Wedding at Mermaid Cove. So there's the praiseworthy stitches we know and love, right? Lots going on, big buildings, lots of people, lots of action. Whale back here, very cool. So that is Wedding at Mermaid Cove. And then we have Morning Tweet Chart. A big old pot with a big old tree and lots of colorful birds. Very cute. Mary E. Allen 1836 Sampler. In the soft scenes of life, when cares are small and few, I show to others of my age what busy hands can do. Very cool. More bunnies, I'm telling you. Bunnies are in this, this season. Creepy pumpkin stackers. I think this is a brilliant idea. I don't particularly care for the creepy part, but autumn... Autumn motifs on the stacked pumpkins would be awesome. I love that. And then Mr. and Mrs. Claus ornaments. Very pretty. Puntini Puntini from Italy. These are cute. Cat lover lives here. With the little cat button. You guys still with me? We're on the peas. I hope you're still with me. Take your break whenever you need to. I'll be here. Waiting for you. Dog lovers live here. Very cute. And a great idea. Home sweet home. And then a quiet place. I like this one. Find your own quiet place. Look, a sheep. Very sweet. She has seasonal ones as well. January. Very pretty. I love the font and I love the black. And look at the, the temperature, the thermometer. I love the black font against the bright colors. February. 
March. And of course she has her buttons and her pins with it. So there's the pins for those months. April, that's really pretty. May, Lily of the Valley. I used to grow Lily of the Valley. June, Catching Lightning Bugs. And there's the pins for April, May, and June. And then other sets of pins. Buttons. Very cute. More pin packs. All right, another new designer, Rabbit Valley Studio. Give it to God and go to sleep. Don't worry about counting sheep. Give it to God and go to sleep. Very cute. This is really pretty. Peach Tree Park Sampler. That's lovely. Beautiful colors. I like the lamp post. Spring doxology chart. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Isn't that pretty? Very sweet. More bunnies. My cup overflows with blessings. Very pretty. The day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. Do you think that means they're, uh, they're preaching patience there? And home. Nice. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. I heart cross stitch final sticker. Oh, okay. All right, then we have Rami's creations. So she is starting a series month in a jar. So we have January. and February and her, her uh, floss also she dyes floss March another bunny very cute April with the sheep oh we've got a black sheep here May with the bees more lily of the valley June, off to the beach. All right, and then love my Quaker dog. Love my dog, Quaker. Little dog house down here. Very cute. Love my cat, Quaker. <laughs> and then happy place. Cross stitch is my happy place. <clears throat> Big old spool of thread. Christmas joys. And then some Passover charts. Those are pretty. I like those. All right, Rosewood Manor. Whittlesford's Cottage chart. This is the first chart in a series of three. Okay. I wonder if that means they're all connected. Interesting. The kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the birds for mirth. One is nearer, nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. One of my neighbor's mothers, my friend's mothers, had a little plaque in her garden that said that, and I always like that saying. This, though, oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, feathers. Holy cow. What a design. That's gorgeous. Sulky thread pack for O feathers. And then, so then as colorful as this one is, then we have a black one, a black and red and gold. <laughs> Griffins of the kingdom. Funny. All right, over Varus, another Italian designer. Let's 
see kit market exclusive isn't that sweet I wonder if it comes with that it must huh very cool hmm so I wonder I think the kit may be for the pin cushion and for the box that's cool Hippity hoppity, look at that long dog bunny. <laughs> welcome with all of your Irish motifs and then welcome with your Halloween motifs and then welcome with your bloom flower floral motifs. So this one's welcome lucky, welcome Halloween and welcome bloom. Of course, I like welcome bloom the best because it has blue flowers. That's really pretty. Welcome Harvest. I think that got misnamed. <laughs> I think that must be Welcome Patriotic or something. And then we have Halloween themed charts. Now she does not name these separately. So if you're interested in any of these, you'll have to go looking for the names. Autumn themed charts. So we have Thanks autumn thankful acorn welcome and sunflower i think some of these are older ones summer themed charts kind of like these ones with the alphabet on different pillows with different motifs that's kind of fun spring themed charts christmas themed charts so I do not know if all of these are new or not. All right, sampler's not forgotten. All right, so they're not part of the expo, but because they're at Nashville every year, they decided to include their new release. And that is this pretty floral heart. Sampler's revisited. Look at this, the Bargello Crab. So done on a lighter fabric and done on a bright orange. Isn't that gorgeous? Samplers revisited. Bargello Crab. <clears throat> Very cool. Now these are interesting. I'd be interested to hear what you think of these. These make me go, huh, okay. So taking the chemistry symbols and putting them together to create a word beach, life, brew, cheers, cat, wag, vino, BYOB. What do you think of those? Does it work or doesn't it? Satsuma Street. Now this one they kind of smush together. So you have Satsuma Street and Scissors Tail Designs. And this is Satsuma Street, Spring Eggs. So this is, I don't know whether this is one or two, or back and front. So that's the Satsuma Street designs. And then this is the Scissor Tail designs, Humble Bee. And then you have Silver Creek Samplers. They have some cute ones. Lighting the way. They always have cute ones, right? Always be a lighthouse. Shine your beacon bright. Guide every soul adrift at sea throughout their darkest night. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. Lost and found. Look, a sheep. I am a lost sheep gone astray. Shepherd, find me this, I pray. O shepherd, listen to my prayer and keep me in thy loving care. That's a gorgeous sheep. Love that one too. And then reaping love. I love you to death. <laughs> and wicked stitcher society. <laughs> the witch with her hoop. Butter believe it. I have a lot to say. Maybe you should get popcorn. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sister Lou stitches. I don't know that I've ever heard of Sister Lou. 
We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure, Jesus. I have lost my mind and I'm not looking for it. God so loved the world, that's pretty. Spot colors. Don't make me cut you. <laughs> okay. Slow down. Oh, the pin. Black work moth. It's hm, cool. Home sweet home. Sue Hillis. We love Sue Hillis. So much to love. Look how pretty. Sampler. And then these smaller ones, all included in this chart pack. Look how pretty those are. Easels made easy, not new, but a great riff reference book to have on hand. So how to make flat folds and, and easel stand up thingies. And then another finishing made easy. Very nice. So those might be good references to have. Christmas morning. Oh, another one on these boxes. Look at that. Look how pretty. Gorgeous, huh? Christmas morning by Sue Hillis. Summer house stitch work. So this is more of the, um, of the French kitchen one, but also the Fragments in Time. So I was telling you the Fragments in Time 2021 is a sea themed one. So this is number one. Isn't that cute? This is number two. Number three. And number four. So there's four more for those. I will be getting those as well. Probably not this year. I might wait till next year to get all those. And then here's the border. She does a free border every year for these. And then the other charts in the um, French cuisine, the French kitchen one. So this is pears and rosemary, right? Yeah, pear and rosemary. Look how pretty that is. Ah. Uh. I will be getting all of these. And this is Blueberry and Thyme. Gosh, so pretty. And then again, the last chart, or the fifth chart. I assume it's the last chart. God, so pretty. All right, Teresa Kogut. Oh, my goodness. Another one who's killing me. Fractor. So this one, I mean, I love everything about it, except this angel. That, he just scares me. And I think what I would do for this is just cut this off up here, just not do the angel and these two flowers and just bring the border down. But I love that, very Pennsylvania Dutch. Come to the garden. Very pretty. That. And I love this pot of blue flower. Of course, pot of blue flowers. The border is beautiful on this as well. This is just gorgeous. This would be a lot of fun to stitch. Strawberries, just gorgeous. Rise and shine. Big old rooster. Taking over the world. Nice. Oh, Hallow's Eve, there you go, upside down witch, doing a one-handed handstand. Whimsy Halloween is what that one is called. Psalm 9111, for he will command his angels to guard you in all your ways. And then there's this one. <gasps> Peacemaker, look at her. I will own her at some point in the future as well. Oh, gorgeous. I would do her on darker fabric. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, next designer, Thistles. Mrs. Claus Kitchen. Super cute. Flower box. Now this one, they did a disservice by using this fabric. They should have chosen a darker fabric. I think this is really pretty, but the fabric doesn't do it any, any favors. Little winter bag, very cute. Pole to pole chart. So polar bear to penguin, north pole to south pole. That's cool. And a snow globe. Oh, with like the Aurora Borealis. That is really cool. Very pretty. Flower shop. I love this one. I love it, love it, love it. We have some full coverage down here. All the flowers, so much going on. R whimsical colors and flowers. I love this. Yeah. I need to get that one too. You know, I haven't made a list yet. I really should. I love it. I probably won't do a pre-order for anything though. A little pin keeper chart. Put on your scissor frog. Tiny modernist. Does not say that all of hers are here. Excuse me. So she has a mermaid. It's very pretty under the sea. What is that called? Mermaid garden exclusive. And be your own kind of beautiful exclusive. That's cute. So both of those are exclusive to the shop. Excuse me, shops who attend. Advanced April release for so show shoppers. That's really pretty. If you look the right way, you can see the whole world is a garden. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but maybe I'm just not looking the right way. That is pretty. Again, lots going on here. Lots to see, lots to stitch. Very sweet. Fairy tale series, pin cushion of the month. Goldilocks. The three bear Goldilocks and the Three Bears is an April Advance early pincushion. So this is Red Wide Riding Hood. This is Cinderella, and this is Prince Charming or Sleeping Beauty. All right, so Twin Peak Primitive. Oh my goodness! I hope you guys are still with me, because they are another one who has created some stunning, stunning pieces. The first Thanksgiving. Look at this. This is awesome. So you have Plymouth Plantation, these great flower pots, this wonderful kind of banner, patriotic banner. Heavenly Father, on Thanksgiving Day, we bow our heart to you and pray. We give you thanks for all you've done, for joy and health, friends and family. Look at that. I love that. B is four Bs. Very nice. Easter morning on countryside. I love this. Little chickens coming down their ramp. Little chickies. Very nice. Daisy chart. I don't know whether she's part of the move the merrier, but fits in there. Easter, Easter preparation. Little mice bringing the eggs to paint and the little mice taking it away. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Look at this one, Peacock Sampler Chart. This is home, a place of safety and joy a place to rest and create. Now my home does not look like that. <laughs> But it is a place of safety and joy and a place to rest and create. This is a stunning piece. That house would be a monster to stitch. <laughs> Look at this border down here, though. Isn't that gorgeous with that flower pot? And, of course, the peacocks. OMG. This thing is just amazing. Sweet summer. You know, you go from that to this. <laughs> it's just such a change. Cute, but totally different. 
This is Star Spangled Santa with his little sheep on wheels. <laughs> Shepherd of the Veray, or Veri, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Lots of sheep in that. Awesome. And goats, too. Very cute. Strawberry Hill. Christmas over the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> all right, so that's all of theirs. Works by ABC, ABC. She has some really cool ones, too, this time. This one, Evolution Chart. Now, I look at this and I think, where did she start? Did she start with the smaller pieces and grow it out? Did she know where she was going beforehand? Or did she start with this and kind of shrink it down? I find this fascinating. And I find this fascinating too. I'm gonna to zoom out so you can get a better idea. Isn't that cool? So it's called Lake. So you have the lake and the seashore and mountains and sky with the sun coming up. And when you zoom in, you see that it's all the same motif, I guess. Just the way it's placed and the changing colors gives you the look of the landscape. Isn't that clever? I love that. Well done, Arlene. She has a Matzo cover and this Renaissance band sampler with very cool bands with gorgeous, gorgeous floss used. Very nice. And then Rosebud Lace. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if I remember correctly, um, from her Instagram post, she is changing the depth of what you're seeing by using some of these uh, as half stitches with one thread. And the, the, the deeper, the more saturated, I guess, even though it's all white, is a full cross. And then in here, and I think it's a full cross with single stitches and a full cross with, with or a single cross with a single thread and a full cross with two threads to change the, the depth of the stitching. Isn't that gorgeous? Rosebud Lace by Works by ABC. And that is that. Guys, I hope you stuck with me. I hope you found some goodies. I know I have. I'm looking forward to hear what you think of this. I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I will be back later in the week with a Floss 2 video. Until then, you guys take care, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.